After patiently waiting for decades, scientists have finally captured one of the largest explosions in recent history. Luckily for us, this explosion didn't take place right here on Earth, but instead about 120 million light years away inside one of our neighbor galaxies. The event is known as a supernova, but for far too long, scientists have spoken about this natural phenomenon simply in speculative terms because, frankly, they had never seen one happen. That all changed recently, and the first witnessing of a supernova was something historic and truly stunning. So, what did scientists see when they viewed this once-in-a-lifetime event? Just how big did it really get? And more importantly, how does Earth deal with the effects from a supernova explosion? In the simplest terms, a supernova is the explosion of a star that has reached the end of its life. Supernovae can outshine entire galaxies and emit more energy in just one single second than our own Sun can in its entire lifetime. But they're more than just that. They are also the universe's principal source of heavy materials. According to NASA, supernovas are the largest explosions that take place in space. People have been studying supernovae for generations now, long before the telescope was built. Several civilizations documented supernovae. RCW 86, discovered by Chinese astronomers in AD 185, is the oldest known supernova in history. NASA believes that those on the ground were able to spot the supernova in the night sky for eight months long. According to Encyclopedia Britannica, there were just seven known supernovae before the early 17th century. However, the term supernova wasn't used until the 1930s, where Walter Bard and Fritz Zwicky observed an explosive event in the Andromeda galaxy. When we say observed, we definitely don't mean in real time. That's because while supernovae have been seen by humans, they've only been witnessed after the explosion when debris and gas from the cataclysmic event are ejected into space. That debris is then able to produce new stars and the elements needed for life. But in the summer of 2020, that all changed. That's when astronomers witnessed a red supergiant in its final days and even got a look at its massive explosion as it died and turned into a supernova. The star was discovered by a team of researchers at Northwestern University and the University of California, Berkeley, using the University of Hawaii's Pan-STARRS telescope that sits atop of the peak of Halakala volcano in Maui. Their goal was to study two types of supernovae. Type 1 supernova is a star accumulating matter from nearby neighbors until a runaway nuclear reaction ignites. Then there is Type 2 supernova, which is the star running out of nuclear fuel and collapsing under its own gravity. When taking a look at a specific part of the universe, they were able to detect the massive dying star because of the immense amount of light radiating from it. They knew they had stumbled upon something that was monumental, unstable, and headed for inevitable destruction. The star was big. In fact, it was bigger than anything seen before. The team found that it contained about 10 times the mass of our Sun and was located nearly 120 million light years from Earth in the galaxy known as NGC 5731. Through technology and archival studies on the area the star resides in, the researchers were able to observe the red supergiant during its last 130 days leading up to its deadly and massive detonation. In other words, they were able to see the final months of a star and witnessed its incredible explosion. The team studied it all very closely, knowing that they were getting a look at what others had only dreamed of for decades. They were able to get a feel for what the star's immediate surroundings looked like, how the star behaved in its final days, and how the supernova itself occurred thanks to the information revealed. They were particularly interested in studies of the star taken in the four months leading up to the explosion, which revealed increased light in the area. Although previous observations had shown no evidence that red supergiants behave differently before exploding, this supernova, dubbed SN2020 TLF, 
revealed that some of these stars may raise red flags. According to astronomers, it was like viewing a ticking time bomb. Wynne Jacobson Garland, a National Science Foundation graduate research fellow at University of California, Berkeley, and the lead author of the study, was astonished by what they witnessed. He stated, this is a breakthrough in our understanding of what massive stars do moments before they die. Direct detection of pre-supernova activity in a red supergiant star has never been observed before in an ordinary Type II supernova. For the first time, we watched a red supergiant star explode. While the actual viewing of the supernova was something special, what the team witnessed was more than just the major blast that signaled the star's final moments. After the explosion, the scientists continued to observe it and discovered additional information about supernovae. The findings contradict earlier theories on how red supergiant stars grow before exploding. Prior to this finding, all red supergiants detected before exploding were very quiet, with no indication of explosive eruptions or brilliant emission. However, this novel detection of bright radiation coming from a red supergiant in the final year before exploding suggests that at least some of these stars must undergo significant changes to their internal structure that then result in the tumultuous ejection of gas moments before they collapse. The first viewing party of a supernova is definitely historic for what it teaches scientists, but according to researchers, it's the questions raised that make it all the more exciting. Jacobson Garland further talks about the new direction this supernova takes things and stated, I am most excited by all of the new unknowns that have been unlocked by this discovery. Detecting more events like this will dramatically impact how we define the final months of stellar evolution, uniting observers and theorists in the quest to solve the mystery on how massive stars spend the final moments of their lives. Supernovae are hard to find because the universe is so incredibly vast and not every star is capable of having a supernova. But finding these supermassive explosions occurring in space only begs the question, what would happen if our own sun went supernova? Well, if our own sun went supernova, the scientists on Earth would be very confused. Based on past research, we know that in order for a sun to go supernova, it needs to be really big. In fact, it has to be at least eight times the mass of our own sun. But by the time we realized the event was already taking place, None of our past research would matter. There would be a violent amount of radiation hitting Earth which would completely wipe out the ozone layer. With the ozone layer being removed, skin cancer cases would skyrocket and hospitals would get flooded. All living creatures would suffer from severe radiation burns unless they were hiding underground or in protective suits. And even this would be the least of our worries. That's because ultimately, there would be no escape. The explosion would soon boil away the surface of our planet at thousands of meters per second, and Earth would be heated up to lethal temperatures, estimated to be 15 times hotter than the surface of the Sun. Life as we know it would be over in just a matter of seconds. I think it's safe to say that we are quite lucky to be located at our position in the universe. We really don't need to worry about a supermassive star ending life on Earth, but that doesn't mean that there aren't frightening events still taking place right here in the Milky Way galaxy. If you enjoyed this episode, make sure to click the video on your screen and I'll show you the most frightening space events that are happening this year. I'll see you there.